This video is going to show you some base 4 example problems and then relate it to what does base 4 have to do with base 10 and is there a connection? So let's go ahead and jump right in and start with this problem. I have this amount of dots here and I want to write the number in base 4. Now the first thing you need to think about is you need to think about what the groups are in base 4. In other words, in base 10 we have single units, right? Okay. And then we have a rod, and a rod is made up of 10 units. In base 4, we don't have a rod made up of 10 anymore. We have a rod made up of 4. So we still have units, and we still have rods, but this time our rods only have 4 in them. And if you're a little bit confused, like how am I getting there, I want you to think about your actual place value chart, but in base 4. Here's where it gets a little crazy, right? So in base 4, I still have 4 to the 0 power, 4 to the 1st power, 4 to the 2nd power, and 4 to the 3rd power. So when I'm thinking about my digits down here, I can literally be thinking about that this represents 4 to the 0 power is 1. This represents 4 to the 1st power, which is 4, so groups of 4s. And this represents 4 squared, so groups of 16. And then 4 cubed represent, ready for this, groups of 64. Okay, so this represents our 1's place still. This represents our 4's place, not our 10's place, right? So our 4's place. And then we would have, instead of in base 10, I might have a flat, right? And the flat would have 10 um, rods. I'm not going to dry them all, but you get the picture here, okay? So it's going to have 10 of these. In base 4, it doesn't have 10 anymore. It has four groups of 4, which would be 16. So a flat in this case literally looks like this. Hence why we say groups of 16. Okay, so now let's go back to our dots. We need to first see, can we count by ones? We could. Can we count by groups of 4? Well, let's see. I've got four here, four here, and four here. So I have three groups of four. I'm going to write a three there. I have zero ones once I've grouped by fours. So this number is going to be written three, zero, base, four. Let's try another one. So now I have this amount of dots. So let's take a look again. Again, I can group by ones, but I'm going to see that I'm going to be able to at least make groups of four. Hmm. I even noticed that maybe I can make a group of 16. So let's, let me start by fours first. So I've got four, 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 four. Okay, so I can make a group of 16. Then I've got another four here and two ones. So again, let me write that down. I have one group of 16, so I'm going to put a one there. I have one group of four, I'm going to put a one there, and then I have two ones. Again, this number would be one, one, two, base four. Now how about the questions that ask you to give the number that comes before 10 base four? The easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to draw out your dots. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, I need to think about what, how many groups of what is this? So I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on my little base four place value, and I see that I have zero ones and one group of four. So I'm going to go ahead and draw four dots. Now, if I go ahead and take one away, I can see that I only have three units. Again, I can put a three underneath my ones here, and I know that this is three base four. Let's try another one. Let's think about what's the number that comes before one, one, two, base four. So we just kind of looked at these dots. Let's go ahead and take it apart. If I go ahead and again, I'm going to think of this as one group of 16, one group of four, and two ones. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. Now I have one group of 16, one group of four, two ones. If I get rid of one, now let's see what I can group. I can still group my group of 16. I can still group my group of four, so I'm actually going to have one group of 16, one group of four, and one, one. So one, 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 base four. What if I wanted to think of the number that comes after this? Let's plug it into our place value chart. So again, I have 
three ones, two groups of four. I'm going to draw that. So I have two groups of four. Okay, so now you can see I have two groups of four, three ones. If I add one more on, I've added that one on. Now let me circle my groups of four. I have one, two, three. Now I have three groups of four and zero ones. So I have three groups of four and zero ones. This number, the number that comes after this would be three zero base four. That would be the number that comes next. So I hope you have a better understanding now of other base math. Stick with it, persevere. Um, this is not something really easy to think about. Know that because this is not natural for you, we don't operate in base three, we don't operate in base four, we operate in base 10 world. So just know that um, your students are gonna struggle with base 10 just like you're struggling with base three or base four. Have a great rest of your day.